When I was a child, people would scratch my face with a scrubbing brush to show other children that it wasn't chocolate on my face. Obviously, as a child, I couldn't figure out why this was happening to me. I just wanted to be white, to have the feeling of belonging and be like the others. Following defeat in 1945, Germany found itself once again occupied by Allied troops. The Americans brought with them black GIs who remained stationed in Germany for some time after the war. Inevitably bonds were formed and in some cases children followed, born into an all-white environment and having no contact at all with black people. My father came to Germany because he was an American soldier. He was sent back home early because he became ill. All children born to African-American fathers were identified as occupation babies. When I was six and a half, my mother took me to the children's home. I've never blamed her, because I know that she was under a lot of pressure. I felt as if I was worth so much less than the other children there. I was hit, locked up in rooms, and when I was ten, they tried to drive the devil out of me. I had to kneel down in front of a chair. All the windows were closed, and I had to repeat, Jesus is the victor. Then the shutters were opened so the devil hiding inside me could fly out of the window. I was worth so little that if they could get the devil out of me, then I'd be worth a little bit more. That's how I felt. I never thought about my father when I was growing up. But when I was 18, I felt I'd like to meet him. Everything that I'd been through because of the color of my skin made it even more important to find him. I tried to get in contact using an old address my mother had, but the letter came back. For a long time, I felt angry every time I encountered black people greeting me on the streets. I didn't want anything to do with them, because for me, being black meant being sidelined and inferior. I met Audre Lorde here in Germany in the 1980s. She was an African-American writer and she impressed me as an older black woman. She was very important to me. She told us that as Afro-Germans, we should no longer be silenced in this society. It was something really special because it made me realize that others had experienced the same things as me. You can't really describe the feelings I had. I was so happy. Getting to know him really healed me. Suddenly, I could feel proud of myself and look tall. I had arrived where I'd always wanted to be. And that's how I still feel today. Yeah, and that's how I still feel today.